Hey guys, on uh, lap five here. The off grid tiny house. <laughs> um, the weather's holding out for me. Seems a little bit cooler though outside, so that's definitely what I've noticed. But this will be my final lap for the day. Then I'll head back to the house, check on my dad. And then I think my, because my mom's off work today as well. I think all th three of us are going to go up to the hospital later this afternoon. And visit my aunt. See what's going on and see if we can do anything. But, uh, just a visit. And then uh, go from there. So, um... We, I have work tomorrow, which is good. That'll bring some money in. Finally starting to get to some of these jobs. And then uh, I did order, uh, like I said I in my uh, earlier videos there, guys, if you follow me on a regular basis, um, I ordered some stuff from Wish. And uh, one thing I ordered which is, uh, I'm pretty excited about. And I ordered this actually before, um, and it never came, and I got a refund for it. And that's when Wish was giving me all that free stuff. So, which was good. <laughs> but this item never came. So, I went ahead and ordered a item for off the grid. And it is going to be a mini projector and it's got an HDMI port and audio ports and all that now it's an LED setup now it ain't the best and brightest of a projector however the price is right and the really awesome part about this thing I can run it off of one of Charles's power packs as my entertainment um, so it's not even going to be connected to the battery bank whatsoever. I can literally take this thing port, it's portable, so I can take it anywhere and have that power bank and just broadcast that onto a wall somewhere. And I think that's going to work out really nice in the tiny house because, um, you know, you do get those days where power's at a minimum coming in. And if I can run this stuff off a power bank and have some entertainment, that's awesome. And this is kind of my going to be my uh, go-to until I save up enough money for the 12-volt TV. And I think the 12-volt TV is going to be a great investment as well because... I will no longer need an inverter to run it, run the TV, and it will have a built-in DVD player so I can play DVDs and so on. But they do say that the audio sucks on the, the internal speakers on this TV. So I also am looking on Wish for a nice uh, sound bar that I can plug in as an auxiliary. And the sound bars they have on there are also USB powered, which is awesome. So you want to look at 12 volt and USB powered devices, guys, for your off-grid setup. If you don't need, if you can get bypass your equipment without using an inverter, then it's going to save you a lot of money. You're going to have longer run times, and that's the way to go, 100%. Um, uh, the only thing I would actually need on a inverter would be my refrigerator and you know maybe maybe some uh, charging power tools and stuff but we'll see how that works out but I'm pretty excited about this little um, projector it doesn't it's not gonna cost me a lot of money which is good and there's a lot of good reviews on there. 
I can run it off the power bank, like I said. And I also have some stuff coming um, to kind of incorporate with that, which is fairly cheap. Um, it is uh, two, two power packs that are empty, and they take the 18... 650 lithium cells which Charles also donated to me and he also um, and these power packs that I ordered were really cheap and you charge them via USB power or micro USB and it has a USB out so I can build my own lithium power packs out of those laptop batteries that I've been uh, scavenging and saving guys because I have yet to figure out how to safely build a 12 volt lithium uh, lithium uh, battery out of there because you, you, it's not just put the batteries together and it works you gotta put uh, individual charging modules per cell on those lithiums or you'll risk some danger and overcharging, explosions, etc. We don't want to go there. So that's on the way. Um, and I'm pretty excited about this because the nice thing about the projector, guys, I can put it anywhere in the tiny house. Also, I can figure out a way to hook my uh, boxy box up to this thing via the HDMI port and I can probably run the boxy box off the um, that car jumper power pack because it has those um, those uh, DC dongles where you just plug in and that's going to be and that runs only on 5 volts I'm pretty sure so it's basically an off-grid entertainment system for under, well, the projector's under, under 50, well, it's about, what is it, 50 bucks? And then, uh, the boxy box, when they, they don't even make them anymore, but you can buy an Android box, which is basically the same thing nowadays for way cheaper. So yeah, for under 100 bucks, you can put a Cody box in this projector, hook them together, and then if you had a thumb drive with some content on it or a hard drive, you got a whole entertainment system for under a hundred bucks that works off the grid on very low power, and which means since it runs on low power, you can basically run this thing all night on a very budget system like I have so that's pretty exciting guys I'm pretty pretty I'm liking that so I wonder I'm just thinking all the possibilities we'll do a bunch of tests and videos of this thing guys and the nice thing about that I can have that thing running while I'm filming in the tiny house and I don't think I can get copyright striked on it because it's going to be broadcasting on a back on a wall in the background and I do not think YouTube's uh, um, AI will be able to determine exactly what's going on so I could actually broadcast stuff on inside the tiny house on the walls and that would be cool while filming that's kind of a neat idea so We'll see what the possibilities are. I'll, I'll, if you guys stay tuned, follow me. I'll recommend. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you if I recommend it or not. I'll be the guinea pig. And why do I buy from Wish and buy these kind of no-name, uh, cheaper electronics? Well, guys, I live in Canada. We have a 13% sales tax on everything. And not to mention, everything sold here is pretty much imported from China. And they just double and triple the price. So they make a profit. Why? So I'm basically buying direct from China. 
cutting out the middleman, cutting out two and three times the price uh, gouging by the companies, and also I do not have to pay the 13% sales tax, which is this method has saved me a ton of money, and I get a lot of cool stuff that they don't even have in stores, guys, around where I'm at. So Wish is kind of like my favorite favorite shopping store <laughs> online. I know Amazon and stuff have better stuff and it's quicker, but Amazon's <laughs> Amazon is uh, you know they sit they claim they're pretty inexpensive, but anytime I'm looking for something, I don't know. Pretty awful. Though recently the supplements for my dad I did get fairly cheap on there and I will continue to buy from Amazon those because super inexpensive on that that side of things so that's gonna be good um, what else is going on yeah so the I got and I got some more items coming from wish as well guys and like I say it takes like months for me to get that stuff in so stay tuned